Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm sharing with you how to crochet this warm bottle cozy. I hope you like what you see. Please consider to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and the notification bell. I also have the written pattern available. The link is in the description box. For this project, I use acrylic yarn. You'll also need a 5mm hook, a pair of scissors, yarn needle, and two buttons. And this is my crochet ring, and I highly recommend it if you crochet a lot. To find out more, click on the link in the description box. There are two parts on the pattern, and we are going to start with the buckle. Let's get started. Grab hold onto the tail and make a snip knot. Then make a chain of 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. From here, slip stitch into the first chain. Make sure your chain is not twisted. And I am inserting my hook into the bump on the back of the chain, which is this one right here. Slip stitch. One chain. In the same stitch, place a single crochet. Insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. In the next chain, place a single crochet. Insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. In the next stitch, place three single crochet. That's one, two, three. In the next stitch, which is this one right here, place a single crochet. And place a single crochet into the next three stitches. So you will have four single crochet. Two, three, four. In the next stitch, Place three single crochet. One, two, three. Then single crochet into two stitches. Make sure not to miss this one. One. Two, three single crochet in this stitch. One, two, three, and four single crochet. One, two, 
two, three, four. On the last stitch, place three single crochet. One, two, three. From here, grab your scissor and cut yarn. Make sure to leave a long tail before cutting. And use a yarn needle to join the round. Insert into the first stitch, which is this one right here. And insert into the top of the last stitch. Put this aside and we're going to start part two. For demonstration purpose, I'm using a different color yarn, so you can see it better in front of the camera. But go ahead and use black yarn. And we are going to begin by making a magic circle. From here, one chain. And to begin round one, place a half double crochet. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through, three loops. That's one. Again, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through, three loops. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now that we have a half double crochet, pull the tail to close the circle. To begin round two, slip stitch into the first stitch to join the round. And normally I like to carry the tail with me, one chain. And we'll be doing this at the beginning or at the end of every round. Round two, place two half double crochet into the same stitch. One. Two. In the next stitch, place two half double crochet. One, two. And this is the repeat for this round. Place two half double crochet into every stitch. By the end of the round, there will be 16 stitches. And I'll meet you on round three. To begin round three, Slip stitch into the first stitch to join the round. Then one chain. In the same stitch, place one half double crochet. In the next stitch, place two half double crochet. One, two, one half double crochet. Two half double crochet. And this is the repeat for this round. By the end of the round, there will be 24 stitches. And I'll meet you on round 4. On round 4, slip stitch into the first stitch. 1 chain. Place 1 half double crochet into 2 stitches. One. Two. In the next stitch, place two half double crochet. One, and one more into the same stitch. Two. One half double crochet into two stitches. 
one, two. Increase on this stitch, so place two half double crochet. Repeat this all around. There will be 32 stitches by the end of the round, and I'll meet you on round five. This is the last increase round. Place a half double crochet into three stitches. One, two, three, and two half double crochet into this stitch. One, two, and this is the repeat. Half double crochet into three stitches. Then two half double crochet into the next stitch. By the end of the round, there will be 40 stitches. And I meet you on round six. On round six, place a half double crochet into the back loop. The back loop is the far away loop from us which is this one right here. Place a half double crochet into the back loop of every stitch all around. And by the end of the round, we still have the same number of stitches of 40. And I meet you in round seven. Round 7 to round 14 are the same, so flip it from inside out to make it easier to work with. Slip stitch into the first stitch. One chain. For this round, place a half double crochet into every stitch for 8 rounds. At the end of the round, Slip stitch, one chain to join, and cut yarn, and I meet you on round 15. Round 15, we are going to change to white yarn. You can insert the yarn into any stitch. Tie a knot. Before we begin, Turn your work so that your work is closer to you. Insert your hook. This time we're working from this direction. Yarn over, pull through, one chain to begin. In the same stitch, place a bubble stitch. That is, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through, two loops. Yarn over, insert into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. And we're repeating this until we have six loops on the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over and pull through six loops. In the next stitch, place a half double crochet. In the next stitch, a bubble stitch. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, Pull through two loops. Repeat this four more times until you have six loops. Then yarn over, pull through six loops. Half double crochet into the next stitch. Bubble stitch.
half double crochet, and this is the repeat. And I meet you at the end of the round. At the end of round 15, slip stitch into the bubble stitch, which is this one. One chain and cut yarn. Round 16 to round 20, we're using a different color yarn. So insert your yarn into any stitch. From here and onward, that your work is far away from you. And we're working clockwise. After you tie a knot, insert your hook, one chain to begin. And place a half double crochet into the same stitch. And place a half double crochet into every stitch all around. By the end of the round, there will be 40 stitches. And you'll be repeating this for 5 rounds with this color. And I change to black on round 21 and half double crochet into every stitch for 2 rounds. So I did 2 rounds of half double crochet with the black. Then I change color again on round 23. And placing a half double crochet into every stitch for 12 rounds. So from here to here is 12 rows of half double crochet. Basically, you want to start where the handle or the bottle is. So make sure to test it out before moving forward. And to begin the next round, Place a half double crochet into the first stitch. One chain. Skip one. Half double crochet. One chain. Skip one. Half double crochet. One chain. Skip one. Half double crochet. And this is a repeat. And I meet you on the next round. In the chain space, place two half double crochet. One, two. Place two half double crochet into every chain space for this round. And by the end of the round, you still have 40 stitches. And I'll meet you on the next round. In the first stitch, place a half double crochet. On the next stitch, place two half double crochet. One half double crochet. In the next stitch, place two half double crochet. And this is the repeat for this round. At the end of the round, slip stitch one chain at the end to join the round and cut yarn. This is the last round for the pattern. Insert white yarn into any stitch to begin. In the same stitch, place two single crochet. One, one more into a same stitch. In the next stitch, place three single crochet. One, 
two, three, two single crochet, one, two, three single crochet. And this is a repeat, and I meet you at the end of the round. At the end of the round, I just did my last single crochet stitch, and I cut yarn. Use a yarn needle to join the round. Insert into the first stitch, and out from the top or the last stitch and fasten the tail the last step is to stitch the buckle and the buttons onto the sleeve and that's all for today i hope you like today's project please comment below to let me know and don't forget to subscribe to my channel Hit the like button and the notification bell. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!